Hi, this is Alex at EichelCamp, and today we're going to talk again briefly about our wet sieve apparatus. So, a couple months ago we had a video on this, and we got a lot of feedback where they actually wanted to see it in action. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to run some soil from Wilmington here through this system and, and look at that aggregate stability. Why do we care about the web sieve? Well, looks like we said, we're looking at aggregate stability of soil, the, the physical and mechanical properties, looking at the breakdown of how uh, this soil can, can, can break down over time. Uh, we care about that because uh, we care about things like seedling emergence, uh, erosion, different agricultural principles, uh, water transport. All of that we can use this tool here to help estimate. Uh, so first, we're going to kind of get right into it. We, we grab some soil out uh, out back. You can see there's some, some little bit of root, a little bit of stuff in it, uh, and we've actually filled up our cups. So for the standard test, we use the uh, 60 mesh. You can see here we have our four grams of soil in it, uh, and we're going to get started. So when you want to start, you want to make sure that you are your soil is fully hydrated because uh, th that's pretty important. So you really want to spritz it with your DI water, uh, and then you'll drop it down. So we're going to cut to that because it takes a couple of minutes. You want to make sure that it's fully hydrated. It can take 10 to 15 minutes once you add your water. So we've gotten our soil fully saturated. Uh, it's moisturized and it's ready to go. You'll pull out the locking pin here so because it's in the upward location. You can see also that we filled our stainless steel cups with water. Uh, enough to submerge the soil. We drop it down into place, it'll pop into place, and we're ready to turn it on. So for the first step, what we'll do, we'll come over here, you see it has two different modes, continuous or that three minute timer. First thing we want to do is that three minute timer. So we click it on, you go get a cup of coffee. You have three minutes to wait. Uh, we won't make you wait all three minutes. We're going to jump cut to the, to the interesting bit, but you can see there's not a lot of energy really going here. It's just going up and down, kind of dunking the sample. Uh, it's not like a normal sieve machine where it's really shaking it. There's a lot of energy separating it. Uh, this is a lot, lot more gentle. Uh, and that's because we're looking at a different property here. So we'll come back in three minutes and we'll take a look at what's, what's happened to our samples. So we're back, it's been our three minutes. So the system is shut off. We've made sure to switch it back to that neutral position. What we'll do is we'll unlock it again lift it back up to the locking position. And what we wanna do is make sure that all of the water drips out of our samples. So let this sit for a couple of minutes and what we'll do is we'll come back. At that moment, uh, we'll take these cups away because they are done. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take them off. We've, we've weighed them, we know how much they weighed before and next we're gonna dry them at 110 degrees in that furnace. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put the other eight stainless steel cups underneath it. Uh, we'll fill them with either sodium hydroxide or uh, hexametaphosphate, depending on the pH of the soil, to try and shift it back to that neutral position. And that's where we'll do that second washing step. So we've done our three minute wash. We've replaced that solution. You can see here, this can is from that first wash. You can see that, that's, that it's pretty dark now. A lot of the fines out of that soil sample have passed through that screen and are now in that stainless steel can. Uh, we've replaced it with the new solution whether it's your, 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 your acid or your basic one to adjust the pH. And then also just kind of looking at it, you can see some of that, a lot of that sample is gone. A lot of the fines have washed through in that first three minutes. But what you'll do is we've replaced that solution. We'll drop it back down into the working location. All the soil samples are once again submerged and we'll click it onto the continuous phase. So there's no set time for this to, to end anywhere from let's say five to eight minutes, we'll see Hopefully the remainder of those uh, fines go through and we'll only have things like roots or, or sand or, or you know, twigs, whatever's left. Uh, if you don't quite get it all, you can take a, uh, a, like a rod with a rubber tip, kind of actually push some of that aggregates through just to finish this process. Uh, and you'll come back in that five to eight minutes and you'll have your two cans, you'll dry them in your oven at 100 degrees, 110 degrees C, and you'll look at the difference uh, of, of the material. Uh, so we're back, it's been about eight minutes. Uh, you can see here in the first cup, it's starting to settle out. This is from that first wash, but it's still, there's a lot of sediment. It's, it's pretty dark. And on these next two, uh, where it ran for even eight minutes, you can still see the stainless steel at the bottom, but you can see some sediment, uh, some of that silt that has passed through. On this cup right here, what we did is we actually went through and we made sure to push all the fines through. Uh, we used that rubber tip rod and really got a lot of it through uh, to try and get as much of it out. And what we're left is, is what's inside of this little this little cup here. So uh, you can see there's not a lot left. It's really just the sticks and twigs and stuff that ideally you'd probably get out of your sample if you're doing this correctly. Uh, but really we got most of that aggregate to fall through that screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry these, these two ones overnight, 
see how much was in the first wash, that first three minute wash, and then we'll see how much was in that second wash, and we'll see, uh, really get a good idea of what that aggregate stability of a soil outside in Wilmington was. So we're back the next day with our stainless steel cups that we dried in our oven at 110 degrees uh, C overnight. Uh, we have our pre, the first three minute wash, and then afterwards where we ran it for about, what, six, seven, eight minutes or so until it seemed like it was pretty done. You can see when you look in it, in the, the first three minute wash, there's a lot of material here. So we, when you're doing this step, you of course weighed your cups beforehand. You would weigh it again to see how much mass is in here once it's dry, and then you'd be able to calculate that. And then looking at the second wash, you can see a lot more of the bottom. There's maybe a third or fourth as much material here. Really, most of it seemed to come out in that first three minutes. And from there, you know what your sample is and how it's going to behave a little bit more. Uh, you did it, you know, uh, eight replicates, so you can really average it and get a good idea or do a couple different at the same time. Make sure you wash up when you're done, put everything away, dry it real well. But this is it. This is the test. This is the wet sieve apparatus. I'm glad we could show it off a little bit. Uh, this is Alex Camp. Meet the difference.